Hi there, Cinda. I'm Jessica, and I'm going to walk you through the makeup that you bought. Okay, so this is going to be your compact, and you have your contour, which is Astoria. You have your main color, which is Sandy. It's going to be the little bit lighter one. And then you have your lip and your cheek, Dahlia. You also have the detailed brush. Okay, so we're going to start. Move my hair. We're going to start with the big side of the detail brush and the contour, okay? So the dark one called Astoria. So we're going to define your cheekbones, and if you want, we can define your jawline and your hair. So we're going to use just the edge of this, and it's going to take some practice because with this cream makeup, almost everyone puts on a little bit too much to begin with, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to walk you through how to correct that. So we're just going to brush the edge of this into our contour. And when your contours and all of your makeup, if it gets like this where you see the tin, put it on your stove and melt it down and it's going to look brand spanking new again. So you never have to waste any of it. They're all meltable. Okay, so we have some on the edge of our brush. You see that's just on this edge. We're going to find the top of our ear and we're going to aim towards the bottom of our nose. So we're just going to put that on. You can even tap it or you can draw a line. Okay, so we're going to draw this line from the top of our ear to the bottom of our nose, stopping no further than our pupil. So we can just brush it a little bit. It's going to feel a little bit high, but this is how we get the most lifted cheekbones. Some people call it spanks for your face, <laughs> which it truly is. So all I'm going to do is brush back and forth and we can leave it a little bit, a little bit dark like that. Let's do the other side. So again, getting into the side, top of the ear to the bottom of the nose, and we're just going to brush back and forth just like that. It's all movable until it soaks into your face. That takes about 15 minutes. So you can move it around pretty much until then. So the next step is we're going to go all the way through our contour. Okay, get the whole brush. Whole brush is full. We're going to go from about our hairline to the top of our ear. So we're going to put it some there. We're going to put some there. And now we're going to blend it back so that it doesn't look like we're wearing a mask. So we're just going to pull it back into our hairline. So we're just dragging what we already have. I put a little bit too much on, but I'm just, that's okay. I'm going to show you how we can still blend it out. Okay, so I pulled it right back into my hairline. You do not need as much as I just put on, um, but that's okay. I'm just going to show you how we can blend it. So I'm just going to go over it. Blend that line where we stopped. Okay, and now we've given our forehead some dimension. The last place we're going to use contour, we're just going to dab this time. So hardly, hardly any. You might still have enough on here from your, um, from your forehead contour. So we're going to go down from the ear, and we're just going to go on top of the chin here. And this is going to create a shadow. So if you do have any, like say your skin comes like a little bit lower than your, than your jawbone and you don't like it, then you can cut it and make it look like a shadow. Or if you love your jaw and you just want to define it, you can then go underneath. But what this is going to do is it's going to tie these colors into your chest. So hopefully when you're done, your face and your chest are perfectly matched. Okay, so the next we're going to do is we're going to go into your sandy. So sandy is the, the face color one. And we're going to brush your whole brush into it. I like to start going down my nose. Okay, so if I come close, you'll see that you can see that it's yellow. We don't ever want to see that it's yellow or see strokes. So that tells you right away we have too much. Okay, so I'm going to start taking that over my eyebrow and I'm just going to move it around until it falls into my pores. And if you find your pores aren't getting covered, then go back and forth and it should fall right in. Let's go down the nose. So we're going to do the entire nose. And I'm just dragging what I have. We're going to go around the temple and on top of the eye. It's also going to act as a primer for your eyeshadow. Okay, so now we can go and blend our contour up there. So you can just go and brush right over top of it. Perfect. 
let's grab again and we're going to do the bottom half of our face so this is your main color your sandy and now we're going to go under the contour so you can see how it just covers up your blemishes so well but it's not too much where it looks like makeup or even feels like makeup so we're going to go under the contour under your lip and over your lip perfect we can go under the eyes this is where you would wear that brightening highlight but right now you just have your main color so we are just going to use your your main color under the eyes okay so you must now you have a perfect complexion the last place that we have to do is our lip and cheek so we've kind of left this area alone so i'm just going to dab this is dahlia i'm just going to dab one dab into it and i'm just going to place it right over top of the contour so right above it and you can add as much or as little as you want Okay, so you can see that nice little bit of pink. I still have a little bit on my brush, so I'm just going to brush it off. And now what I'm going to do is just going to pull down the pink, pull back, and lift up the contour. Okay, brush it off, and now you can drag it back. And you're going to have this perfect, really natural cheek and really natural contour. So let's dab again, and we'll do the other side. So just above the contour and then just pull it down, lift the contour up, pull back anywhere but down, really. We just don't want to drag those cheeks down. We want to always be lifting those cheeks up. Okay, so this is the old perfector sponge. You're going to have a new tin, but it fits in here perfectly, okay? So you have to wet the sponge, squish it out wet it squish it out and then push it squish it into a towel and it's going to get really big and squishy and now what you're going to do this is the magic so now you're just going to push it on your face and what this is doing is it's pushing it into your skin so the makeup looks good now but once you use this you can't even tell like even close up you can't even tell you're wearing makeup so we're just going to push this in everywhere if you do it too, too much, you'll over blend. So just make sure you are conscious of how much you're doing it. And then you're going to take off. Can you see the extra there? So that's how much extra I had on. Okay, last step. Dahlia is also a lipstick. Okay, it's a little bit on the bright side. So I'm going to, and it's, um, you can layer it and get this full color or you can do a really light layer. I'll just show you. Okay. So it's not bad for myself i would probably like it a little bit more toned down so you can add any of these two colors i'm just going to grab a little bit of my mane and i'm going to add it to my lip so you can mix them together and now it's a little bit more of a nude pink so they're all creams you can mix them together and they're going to look fantastic and you'll actually get a new color out of it i really hope you learned enough from this video to do your makeup beautifully. It takes a little bit of practice, but I'm here. If you have any questions, please reach out to me.